Hey awesome subscribers and new viewers on this channel I'm Nicholas, your host and today we're gonna build this text overlay scroll effect Let's do it! Now, um, the main like thing on this tutorial is about layering and uh, the perspective on the Z index so um, one one uh, to do this is simple. You have two uh, text and an image. The the field one, the text with the field, is gonna go behind the image. The image gonna go in the center, and the remaining text, which is, which is just gonna have the outline, is gonna go on top. And when we're gonna layer all of this on top of each other will get this uh, with the uh, outline text on top so for this as i said we're gonna need a um, couple of things one is um, let's call it with this div we're gonna get the the text with fill and then we have the image and for the last div we'll have the text with outline so um, inside we we'll have two h1s and the first h1 we have this amazing code the strength of the team is each individual member and for the second text we we'll have um, a really get motivated when I have daughters and for the outline we'll have the exactly same each ones and for the image I have here an URL from Unsplash and we'll get it as a source which will gonna be on splash URL and that's I think it is for the layout yeah we get the text this is gonna be for the one with the field then we have the image and after that we get the text with outline now let's go into the CSS. Later we'll, we're gonna need some scroll, so um, I'm gonna do the height of the main page wrapper to be about a uh, two size of uh, my two si yeah two size of my view board height, and then for the width is just one one full full percent of the port width and let's make it background black we need this scroll since all of our elements are gonna have um, position absolute and uh, I'm gonna make the image quite big so uh, position absolute as I said um, let's make it like a 70% of height and um, an object fit contain since we need it to look really nice and since it's position absolute Again, I maybe put it 55% from the top and left the 50%. Uh, we, we'll work with transform a little bit later. So now the image gonna be on the right side, so it's not gonna be on the center. And for uh, the text, I'm gonna add this here some class names text parent 
and for this one as well text bar again we need to make it absolute position uh, absolute and maybe I'm gonna add it 35% uh, on the top for the H ones I'm gonna give it a color of white a line height uh, quite big maybe uh, font size as well quite big 8.1 I find it to look really nice particular in this example we don't need it to have it as to break on um, if it doesn't fit a text transform uppercase and a letter spacing maybe 0, 0.0 amps and the font y uh, th this all of this like to styling of the h1s uh comes on you on your design on the way you want it to look so this is not mandatory and a font family of sql which is a sans sheriff let's do the outlines and let's position the uh, the elements in their corresponding z index order so for the image i'm gonna add an z index of uh, two and for the first text parent element we first of type yeah we're gonna add the z index of one and for the last of type which is gonna be the outline one we're gonna give it a z index of three and um for the let's say now as we can see in, in the Chrome Dev Two, we've got the text parent one. This one should be outlined. We'll work this a little bit later. We get the image, and then we have the text parent, uh, the one that's gonna be filled and it's gonna be go uh, in the back of the image uh, now to make the um, text outline I'm going to add to these two particular um, h1s a class name let's say outline and in css we're gonna have the uh, class outline and for this we have the the text the css property called text stroke um, in order to work we are gonna need to use opkit this is mandatory for Firefox as well where you can look up in the documentations and let's say there is a 5 pixels and the color of white and for the fallback maybe if it doesn't work for other browsers that one is, let's set it 1 pixel and white and let's make the fill color transparent uh, kind of get the the effect um, as you can see the image here on top now it's not everything lined up and we'll work it we'll make we'll fix it when we'll work with the scroll and as you can see I while I'm um, 
resizing the window the outline text is getting on top and the field text is on the bottom and the image gets nicely in the middle and we get this text outline effect on any medias we want um, also I'm gonna add for the last of type a margin left of minus 30 pixels hence we want to have like a little bit of variety here now we will work with on on the scroll effect and for this I'm gonna build a custom hook that's gonna get the page Y offset of the window and we are gonna use this to translate our text horizontal our image horizontally and our text vertical and horizontally so um, is scroll position so we need um, a variable for a scroll pause position scroll y position since we only need this one and to set uh, the state and for the initial state we're gonna get set it to window page y offset this is the amount that user scrolled on the web page on your browser or something. and we're gonna have um, a use effect of oh, okay nice snap and when we have a mount we gonna add to the window an event listener and it's gonna be a scroll with and for a callback we're gonna create this function in just a moment and for the cleanup for unmounting if it's in a component class component we're gonna going to remove the event list scroll event listener on the same scroll and here we don't need any for the scroll function is gonna be just function that an arrow function that will just um, set our state to window um, page by offset So, and we have to turn this Y position. Then we import it in our component. Scroll position, let's say, use scroll position. Um, now, with the help of this um, value of the scroll, we're gonna work on the transport. So for um, transform which is a string and I'm going to translate um, 3D and we want this one to go to the left when it scroll down so this is the first row so um, a variable scroll position but we wanted to to scroll to the left like slower than uh, we scroll so I'm going to divide it by two pixels and uh, also we needed to uh, translate it on the horizontal or on the y-axis so again, um, I have the scroll position 
and I'm going to multiply it by uh, delta value and this is gonna be a 0 0.1 since um, again I don't want it to be able to scroll to scroll it very fast and to disappear so 0 pixels and for the z value is 0 pixels for the second row it's basically the same however we now want to scroll it um, to the right and that's why I'm gonna have the positive values for the image again we have the style now we I have a transform a string translate 3d and as I told you uh, I'm going to center it a little bit later so uh, horizon vertically no horizontally actually. so um, on the x-axis I'm gonna put it 50% minus 50% and then um, I'm I need to scroll it uh, like on uh, above like vertically but we needed to keep it um, vertically centered to the window so I need I'm gonna need here and um, to use the calc value of calc function from the CSS so uh, calc again we gonna move it um, upward so we scroll position times delta value pixels and minus 50% since we wanna keep it centered and for the z uh, value I'm gonna give it a zero and for the outlines it's basically the same as we have uh, for the field text so just copy and paste and just copy and paste now it should work and yeah it works smooth as nice and I'm gonna make a few adjustments I'm gonna make it maybe three pixels yeah nice and for the initial top position I'm gonna make it 60 and here 45 nice and as we scroll we get this and um, I've got here a little mistake as you can see the text disappears when I and that's because here should be 30% and now we get this great scroll and let's put it maybe 90% and here uh, 75 yeah yeah that's nice great it's nice it can be used can be improved a lot in your awesome project and tell me how you think this tutorial went maybe um, share it with your friends with your developers with your team with your front-end masters and don't forget to subscribe like comment and see you to the next one